Hello everybody, this is Carmichael the Cat, and welcome to your second Lua tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going over variables, but first, I want to talk to you a little bit about this tutorial series. So, this isn't going to be a complete beginner tutorial series. I'm going to expect that you have some knowledge on another programming language. You don't have to be a master, you just have to have some kind of intermediate knowledge on another language. I recommend C or C++, because Lua is written in C, C so knowing those languages will help you but it can be any other programming language and now the reason I'm doing this is because Lua is not a very good programming language to start with I started with it or I tried starting with it and uh, I ended up going to C++ because uh, you'll see in later tutorials just the way Lua works it's not a very good language to start with alright so now that we have that over with let's get into variables so Lua is what's called a freely typed language. That means that you don't have to declare the type of the variable when you're declaring the variable. So let's do an example. We'll do var1 equals 10. So that's how you declare a variable in Lua. You don't put int. See, that does nothing. And 10 is a number in Lua. It's not an integer. There are no integers or floating points in Lua. It's all just numbers and numbers are the equivalent of double precision floating points, so you can do 10.5 or 10.5555. So those are numbers in Lua. Remember, not integers. So you don't need to worry about that. There's also no long or short numbers in Lua. It can go as high as you want, as low as you want. It can be negative. There's no unsigned or signed. So no variable modifiers. Next type, boolean, can only be set to true or false. We'll just leave it as false for now. And by the way, if you want to put semicolons, if you're used to them, you can have semicolons after a statement, but they're not needed. Next type of variable is a string. In Lua, string is a variable, not an object. We'll just do hello. So this is a single line string, a multi line string. It's done like this. You have two square brackets to start, and then just do hello again, and two square brackets to finish it. And if for any reason you have two square brackets in your string, we'll put it here. I guess if you're trying to read data from a user and the user wants to try to mess with the program and put square brackets there, he would it would end up messing the program up but what you can do is you can put equal signs between the square brackets and the string won't end until it finds two square brackets with the matching number of equal signs between them so this does nothing so we'll leave that as it is so now var4 is equal to nil this is a nil type it's a type specific to lua and there's really no reason to set a variable to just nil but by default, every variable is nil. So if you try to do something with a variable that doesn't exist, its type is nil. So say we do this, print var5, which as you can see, doesn't exist. That will print nil. Now in other programming languages, this would raise an error and say an undeclared identifier. So you couldn't do this, but in Lua you can do this. This can be a good thing but it can also cause problems when you're debugging if somehow you haven't declared a variable instead of raising an error it will just be nil so that could and it won't tell you that so that could cause problems so I think the last variable type we have to get into this tutorial are is tables so what a table is is it's just a container of other variables now other programming languages have a lot of different things that are like tables, arrays, vectors, lists, queues, stacks, I think there are others that I can't remember right now, oh maps, that's one, but a table can do everything that all of those can do and more. A table can also be a class, a structure, it can be anything, you can make it anything, but for now let's just get into how they work by default. So they are just a container of variables, we'll do var6 equals 10. Uh, var 7 equals true, just go over all the other variable types, and 
var eight equals let's do hello again so that's how tables work by default you also don't even have to name the variables in tables so you can just do it like this whoops you can do it like that and I believe you can also have a string as the uh, type of the variable so we'll do var7 equals 10 will that work if we run this uh, no it will not alright so never mind I was wrong about that so you can name the variables and tables or you could not uh, depending on what you're trying to do there are different reasons to and not to so that's tables and I think that's all the variables we're gonna get into this tutorial there are other types functions in Lua are actually considered variables and that is a whole nother tutorial functions and how to use them as variables so you could actually have a, f a table of functions some of you may have picked up on that. That's very useful at times. Uh, and I think the last type of variable is user data, but we won't get into that until we get into reading from files and writing to files. So you don't need to know anything about those yet. So I think that's all for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, uh, I think we're going to do if statements. So if, else, if, else. And we'll get into that next tutorial. So. See you next time.